to the 45th CT CCNP Three Rivers Community College Associate Degree Registered Nurse Pinning Ceremony. of this invocation. I gathered all my best quotes and treasured sayings. I consulted a variety of experts and I practiced, seeking the best outcome. Sound familiar? You are all nurses. You may think it's by choice, but it is truly by divine design. There are no coincidences. Being a nurse is your destiny, your purpose, and your calling. As you prepare to answer this calling, I want to review the necessary tools of your profession. Look at your hands. It's amazing that they are connected to your wrist, your forearm, your upper arm, shoulder, and chest, a direct line to your heart. Because nursing is a work of heart. Being a nurse, you will never be bored you will often be frustrated. You will be surrounded by challenges. There will be so much to do and so little time. You will carry immense responsibility and often very little authority. You will step into people's lives and you will make a difference. Some will bless you, some will curse you. 
You will experience people at their very best and their very worst. You will never cease to be amazed at our human capacity for love, courage, and resilience. Your life will begin and you will see beginning life and also life in its transition. You will experience resounding triumphs and failures. You will cry a lot and you will laugh a lot and trust me you will laugh. You will know what it is to be human and to be humane. Nursing is not a job, it's an experience. In order to experience it well, you must be sure that your hands and heart are in direct communication. Clear communication happens when we practice self-care. Be present, not only to the needs of others, but most importantly, the needs of yourself. Take a minute each day before you begin your work to collect your thoughts, ground yourself in a sense of peace and tranquility that you may carry throughout each day. Rest, eat, laugh, experience life to its fullest. Offer all that you need to yourself so that you can offer all that you can to others. Ask for help. When you, a nurse, give of your hands, you are giving the gift of heart. Be healthy, be strong, be full, and let your light shine brilliantly. Thank you, Lily. Well, good afternoon. It has been a full, glorious day. So I was with you as we celebrated commencement, and now I am with you at this wonderful pinning ceremony. I want to first congratulate each of the nurses who are on the pin today. You're on a wonderful career journey, and I really think the hand and heart metaphor, which was shared with you, is just a wonderful metaphor for the profession that you are entering. To the families, to the friends, to the spouses, to the siblings, to the guests who are here, thank you for showing your support to our nurses and to the nurse in your family. We really appreciate your being with us to celebrate this momentous occasion. Hopefully it will be a joyful occasion. So again, to each of our nurses, congratulations. May you have a professionally rewarding career, and may it be personally satisfying for each and every one of you. Have a great weekend, everyone.
Good afternoon. My name is Anne Ray Kinney. I'm the academic dean at the college, and I'm also a nurse, by the way. I, I just want to um, congratulate each of the graduates and congratulate each of you as you get ready for your beginning. I bring greetings from the whole faculty, on the faculty and the staff of the college, and on behalf of everyone at the college, congratulations to all of you. I hope you enjoy it, get the most out of your day, and also a great big thank you to your family, friends, supporters, colleagues, children, husbands, wives, cousins, mothers, fathers, and everybody else that's here. Thank you all very much, and I hope you enjoy the day. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Edie Ouellette. I'm the Director of Nursing and Allied Health here at Three Rivers Community College. It's my pleasure to welcome the family and friends of the graduates, President Joukowsky, Dean Rankini, faculty and staff, and most importantly, the nursing graduates of the Spring 2015 TRCC Nursing Program. On behalf of the nursing faculty and the college community, congratulations, graduates. This is a wonderful celebration of your hard work and recognition of an honored accomplishment. Please know how very proud we are of each and every one of you. Before I share the meaning of your pen, I would like to acknowledge the leadership provided by Dean Brancini and President Joukowsky, the endless calls to the Dean of IT, Dean Getches, and the behind the scenes work of the administrative deans, Dean Lopez and Dean Fenton. Above all, the nursing program would not exist without the amazing nursing faculty. Thank you for all that you do. There are no secrets to the rigors of nursing education. Every graduate has demonstrated the ability to overcome many challenges, step outside of your comfort zone, and learn to grow in ways I am sure you did not know were possible. Being a registered nurse will offer each of you the opportunity to do work that is unique and gratifying, all while serving the communities in which you live. Please know that you will impact and even change lives by the care you provide. This afternoon, you will receive a pin, which is a symbol representing the college where you received your nursing education. Nursing pinning ceremonies are deep in tradition and symbolism. They date back to the early 1800s when nursing education took place in specialized training programs outside of the college setting. Since nurses then did not earn academic degrees, the pinning symbolized the completion of their program. Each pin design is unique to the school or college. I would like to take a moment to share the meaning of the unique design of your TRCC nursing pin. In 1975, Mohegan Community College graduated the first nursing class. The graduates of this class were the designers of the nursing pin you will wear. The design incorporated the college's motto at the time, peace through understanding, understanding through learning. The dove with the olive branch in its mouth was taken from the college seal and is located at the bottom center of the pin. The dove represents peace. The olive branch represents learning. 
In the center of the pin, there is a caduce. The caduce is an image of a wing-top staff with two snakes intertwined. The two intertwined snakes represent symbols of fertility, wisdom, and healing, while the staff was carried by the ancient Greek heralds and ambassadors and represents truce, neutrality, and non-combatant status. The caduce has long been the symbol of the medical field. Along the top edge of the pin bears the name of the college. Through the years, the pin has changed to represent the name changes that have taken place. You may meet a nurse who wears a similar pin as you with Mohegan Community College or Three Rivers Technical College. The size of the pin has grown smaller over the years. This is due to the price in gold. Gold was chosen as the design material and color to represent achievement. Finally, the scalloped edge design is unclear whether that has significant meaning other than aesthetics. Please wear your pin proud. Three Rivers Community College has provided you with an excellent nursing education. Practice the art and science of nursing and always continue to build on what you have learned here. Congratulations. one of your classmates, your president, Lindsay Trakos. Everybody's been asking me all morning if I'm nervous. And I'm like, yeah, it's only TV. <laughs> and then someone said, well, you know, just picture your audience in their underwear. So, don't worry, I'm a nurse. <laughs> Friends, family, President Joukowsky, Dean Brancini, Director Roulette, and faculty. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us on what is one of the proudest days of our lives. The class would like to extend our sincerest thanks to everyone who has supported and guided us on this long journey. Our professors for helping us to understand concepts in lecture and for sharing your wisdom. Thank you so much for giving me the knowledge to self-diagnose myself with so many three-letter acronym conditions. I now know I've had PVD, PAD, PUD, GAD, and the occasional DVT. It's been a long two years. Our clinical instructors for sharing your expertise and your patience, especially on the first day when we hovered outside our patient's room, whispering to one another, did you go in yet? No. Did you? No. And the lab faculty, who was like a safety blanket, always around when we needed reassurance or help figuring something out. Thanks for not laughing at our questions. Also, to all our friends and family, we're so sorry. Maybe now we can schedule that lunch we were supposed to have back in January 2014. But seriously, you've been there for us, you've supported us, and more importantly, you've left us alone when we needed to study. I also would like to thank all the class officers, Leslie, Kayla, Leanne, Emily, and Emily, the pinning committee, and Nancy Scrivano for helping to plan this pinning ceremony, as well as our guest speakers. Thank you for sharing this important tradition with us. We'd like to thank Lily Rayfelt, our class advisor, who has been there since day one for all your help and guidance along the way. I've, yeah, they deserve it. Sure. 
I've had the pleasure of serving as class president for the past four semesters. I can say with certainty and absolutely no bias that this class is exceptional. We've, absolutely. We've learned together, we've cried together, we've laughed together, and now we've graduated to the next stage of our lives together. It's amazing how much you can grow and learn in less than two short years when you have the right support to lean on and inspire you. On our first day of nursing school, Nancy Ryman asked each of us to stand up and tell each other why we chose to become a nurse. With the room overflowing with emotions, from excitement to trepidation for what lay ahead, we stood up one by one and said things like, because I really enjoy patient care. Or because many of us already had jobs in healthcare and felt nursing was a suitable track. I realize now something I had not realized then, and if she were to ask me again, I think I might have a different response to the question. I think a big reason I wanted to become a nurse is because I wanted to become something bigger than myself. I would have said back then that I wanted to make a difference. We all want to make a difference. But I think we'd all agree that we would not have truly known what that meant without having the experiences we've had in the past four semesters as student nurses. Nursing is something that means so much to so many people. Every single person here, whether you like it or not, has needed a nurse at some point. Our Three Rivers education has instilled the values of holistic care, critical thinking, communication, safe and competent practice, caring, and professionalism in each of us. I've learned how to encompass these values as a nurse and the difference we can make from the people who sit before me now. I've learned things like holistic care as I watched Jennifer Bernardo care for an elderly woman speaking to her like she was the most important person in the world, helping with the bed bath and combing her hair. The woman wasn't even her patient. I've seen Lindsey Greenlee discover that a man about to be discharged required further testing before going home based on her assessment. A more serious condition previously unknown had been found thanks to her critical thinking. I've seen Leanne Gothier and Lori Stenbeck always present in conversation, making their patients feel heard and important, like someone is really looking out for them. Communication. Carrie Ladd, Jennifer Lakaitis, and Kevin Brzee, whose compassion is relentless, caring. And Anessa Baker and Sam Mercer, who hold themselves to such a high standard because they know every single patient deserves the best care. Professionalism. These are only a few examples but there are similar stories about every single graduate nurse here. These are the types of nurses I would want for myself, and it's what I want to be part of. This is nursing, and I am so proud and grateful to have learned what it means from all of you. I think we would all agree that we would not have made it this far without the help and support from one another. I'd like to end with an adaptation of a poem written by Annalise Garrison, RN. It describes perfectly what we've been through together and reminds me that our future as nurses will bring us down different roads, but we will always remember the journey we took together, the values Three Rivers engraved in us, and hold a piece of each other in our hearts. I was mentally stressed. I was emotionally challenged. I have learned to work together. I have learned to work alone. I have learned when to speak. I have learned when to be silent. I have learned when to lead. I have learned when to follow. I have accepted constructive criticism. I have accepted praise. I have shed a few tears. I have shared in laughter. I have learned to help others. I have learned to help myself. I have learned to be part of a group. I have learned to be myself, an individual. I have learned responsibility. I have learned discipline. I have learned these things because someday someone's life will depend on me. I was a nursing student. I am becoming a nurse in all its wonder and glory. Thank you and congratulations to the nursing class.
good afternoon, my graduate nurses. Congratulations. I feel very privileged to be asked to speak to this handsome group before you because I can assure you that it was not too long ago that they were celebrating the fact that they did not have to listen to me anymore. <laughs> so with your indulgence, I would like to take a short trip down memory lane. Twas the day of our pinning at TRCC. Excitement was high. The students were free. The cheeks, they were flushed, eyes bright, heads held high, accomplishment evident to all passers-by. Such confidence now, such pride and such glow, but between you and me, it was not always so. Travel back with me now, let us fondly recall 2013-101 in the fall. Picture, if you will, the start with this crew. New pens and notebooks, a highlighter or two, a new stethoscope, and a huge stack of books, and of course, all those deer in the headlight looks. Hand washing was first, bet you thought you knew how, until <laughs> the 101 team showed you what was allowed. Get the fronts, backs, and sides, they explained the details. And always remember, clean under your nails. It's hard now to imagine the trembling hands, the sweat and the worry at the bedside stands. Was it really so important to get each step right? As you bathed all the sin men and tucked them in tight? You learned how to listen to BPs and heart rates and lung sounds and bowel sounds and palpate and classmates. And then came the day, holy smoke, are we ready? A real-life patient? Steady, nurse. Steady. You mastered equipment and set up IVs and learned to convert milligrams to cc's. IMs and sub-Qs. Which needle? Which spot? Relief when our patient survived that first shot. <laughs> NG tubes and catheters. JPs to self-suction. Ongoing assessments and post-op gut function. <laughs> OB with Ann and the NICU with Edie. Hey, no one ever said nursing school would be easy. More challenging still each semester became with critical thinking the name of the game. What's your plan of care, your instructor would say. What meds will you give? Any dressings today? Well, you got it down pat and your confidence grew. That is until Joan said it's time for two. So you honed all your skills, used prioritization, and took on two patients with good organization. And just about then, 201 came. How <laughs> scary. You had to work hard for those Nancys and Terry. <laughs> Do the lab's test results and assessments make sense? Tell me, nurse, just how does Mrs. Glotzi present? Cardiac, respiratory, GI, bioterry. Harder content, more challenge, they said. Bring it, we're ready. Countless hours spent working on that dreaded clue. You hated them, but also kind of liked them. It's true. it's true. The final semester at last, it flew by. Three patients or four, and you don't bat an eye. You can handle most things now with little instruction, complications, derailings, multi-system dysfunction. Chest tubes and monitors, AFibs and VTACs, and you can pull anything from your own pocket stash. Piggybacks are a breeze, head to toes are a snap. No doubt about it, you got skills on tap. Papers, care plans, presentations and exams, conversions and drip factors, CCs and grams. Back when you started, back when life was still sweet, did you know your commitment would be this complete? And you family and friends stepping up to the plate, did you know when you said, sure hon, nursing sounds great? 
That support would mean cooking and laundry and dishes and doing things solo and prepping for quizzes. Well, you've made it at last, and I'm so proud of you all for realizing your dreams despite stumblings and falls. I have truly been blessed to pay, play my small part in the growth of these nurses of strong mind and great heart. I'd like to close with just a few thoughts about your future since we've been talking about your past. So we know there's major changes on our health care horizon, don't we? I urge you to participate in mapping that course. Use your minds to keep learning, to evaluate and create evidence for practice, to make sound clinical judgments, and to lead skillfully. Use your hearts to practice your craft with compassion, to treat others with kindness and respect, and to lead thoughtfully. Use your voices to advocate for your patients and their families, your communities, and yourselves. Your journey has begun. I wish you a long and fulfilling ride. I'll read each of the graduates' names, and if you could hold your applause till the end, that would be great. So I'm going to share some, um, some words that the graduates would like to share uh, with their families. will be penned by Professor Francine Wallow. Bethany Othier. Bethany would like to thank her parents for all their support and encouragement. She would like to thank her husband and her son for all their patience and understanding during these past few years. She would like to thank Jen for all the laughter and tears and for the friendship they shared. And to her mom, thank you for being her inspiration, her role model and best friend. Stephanie Ayers, I would like to thank my family for being so supportive of me during this journey, especially my husband Glenn for being by my side and picking up my slack. And my children, Isabella and Odin, for being so patient and understanding when mommy had to study all of the time. I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best. Anessa Baker, I would like to thank my boyfriend, Ern, for being so supportive and for putting up with me when I was stressed out over these past two years. I would also like to thank my classmates, especially my study group, for helping me make it through all of the exams. Jennifer Bernardo, I am thankful for the love and support I have received from, the close, from those closest to me during the biggest challenge of my life. The biggest thank you has to go to my wonderful fiance, Nathan, who has been my rock, cheerleader, and the most patient man in the world. Lastly, thank you to all of our instructors because your passion and dedication has given us the ability to become great nurses. Thank you. Kevin Brazi. I would like to thank my mother for her support and especially for watching Chuck when I needed it most. I would like to thank my wife for her unwavering support as well as for tolerating me. And I would like... 
I would like to thank my son Chuck and my as yet unborn child who more than anything are the reason I got into nursing in the first place. Alexandria Brown. Thank you to my family, friends, and classmates for their unending support and motivation. You've seen the joys, tears, highs, and lows along this crazy journey, and I never would have made it through without you. So thank you, and I love you, especially you, Mom. Kristen Servizi. I would like to thank my dad and stepmom for being my biggest supporters. Without them, I would not have made it here. I also want to mention my mom. Even though she's not physically with me, she has always been my guardian angel and has been there for me in ways words cannot explain. Not a day goes by I don't think of her, and making her proud will forever be a goal of mine. The next graduates will be pinned by Professor Ann Lamondi. Holly Desimo. I would like to thank my husband David and my two daughters Hannah and Ava for their unconditional love and support as well as my parents, my sister Heidi and my two best friends Laura and Rebecca. Without all of them, this would not be possible. Rosemary Dobrowolski. I'd like to thank my family for their love and support especially my sister Layla for being a fantastic mentor and best friend, my kids for being my motivation, and my boyfriend Chris for the tech support and helping me keep, keep my sanity, my friends for sticking by me, and my clinical group. Nobody understands more than you guys. Lastly, I'd like to thank all my instructors for guiding me on this journey. Erica Dumont. I would like to thank my family and friends who have been such an amazing support system, especially through the last two years. I also want to thank my husband, Eric, for being so understanding, encouraging, and being by my side every step of the way. I, couldn't, I could not have made it this far without you. I love you all. Corinne Eichelberg. I want to thank my God for bringing me through this amazing journey. He used so many people along the way to lift me up, encourage me, and cheer me onward. I am ever grateful to each and every one of you. Leanne Gauthier. I would first like to thank my mom and my sister for believing in me. I love you both very much. I would like also to thank my clinical instructors for confirming that nursing is what I was born to do and for demonstrating the characteristics of the kind of nurse I aspire to be. And I have to thank Lindsay Tragus for being my rock and for helping me maintain my sanity over the last two years. I couldn't have done, done it without you. Nicole Graff. I would like to thank my parents and family for all their love and support throughout this journey. A special thanks to my mother and my aunt and uncle for going above and beyond in supporting me in so many ways. The next graduates will be pinned by Professor Terry Ashton. Brittany Greeny. I would like to thank my husband Chris for being my biggest support and being by my side through, through everything. I love you. Thanks to my mom and grandma who have always been my cheerleaders and biggest fans, and the rest of my family for the unconditional love and support. And thanks to my soon-to-be-born to baby boy, Jack, for not giving me any morning sickness and letting me finish my last year of nursing school. Can't wait to meet you, little one. Lindsay Greenlee. I want to thank my parents who have helped me in a thousand ways to get through school. Everything you've done meant so much to me. I also want to thank my kids, who are my four best cheerleaders. You are my inspiration for everything I do, and your belief in me is what keeps me going. I hope I have shown you all now how with hard work you can be whatever you want to be. 
I get to be the luckiest mom in the world and a nurse now. And I have you guys to thank for it. Melissa Johnson. I would like to thank my family, friends, and boyfriend for loving, supporting, and believing in me through this whole process. Because without you, this wouldn't have been possible. I am truly blessed, and I love you all. Lilia Kamari. I want to say thank you to my family, and especially my mom, for endless support and encouragement. These past two years would have been impossible without your c continuous help. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Selena Kirsipu. I would like to thank my parents. They truly gave me the unwavering support, strength, and inspiration essential to achieving my dream of becoming a nurse. I would also love to thank my daughter, Lily, for giving me the motivation to succeed while providing me with the laughter and affection at the end of every day and in the middle of almost every night. Kerry Ladd, this is, very, this is a very meaningful moment in my journey to becoming a professional nurse. I am so very proud of each and every one of us to have made it to this rite of passage, our pinning ceremony. I am honored to wear this pin as a badge of the courage that I will need in the difficult times ahead and a commitment to my chosen profession. I give thanks to God and the people who sacrificed to help me get there. I love you. The next graduates will be pinned by Associate Professor Nancy Sarzasti. Jennifer Lucatus, thank, thank you to my amazing supportive parents to whom I owe the world. The, then there is my A-team. I couldn't have done this without you. My fantastic friends who cheered me on and did not forget about me while I was buried in my nursing books. And lastly, to my study buddies. You will be my support group for life. Thank you all. David Lavoie. I would like to thank my family for all your support. <laughs> Kayla Lazada, I am so proud of everyone here today. We all work so hard and will be great nurses. I am so grateful and must thank my parents my boyfriend, and my best friend, Natasha. All of the faculty at Three Rivers Community College, my classmates, and most importantly, my son, Jacob, for the continuous support that allowed me to be here today. Erin McAuliffe. I would like to thank my friends and family for their love and support. Without it, I would have never completed this journey through nursing school, and I am proud to follow in my grandmother's footsteps. Hillary McFalls. I would like to thank my husband Lee and children, Cameron and Logan, for providing me with love, support, and understanding. Without them, I never would have been able to complete this program. Samantha Mercer. I would like to thank my husband, my parents, and my family for supporting me through all it has taken to get to this point. I also want to thank all of my classmates and my instructors for this experience. The next graduates will be pinned by Professor Nancy Scrivano. Leslie Miller, I would like to thank my patients, each of whom taught me a valuable lesson in their own unique way. Jessica Muleg, I want to thank my family for their unrelenting support, my mother for giving me inspiration and guidance, my friends for making me laugh when I needed it the most, and my husband for his understanding, 
patience, and devotion. You are all a blessing in my life, and I'm a, I am a better person for it. Thank you, Jess. Valerie Raiden. Nursing school can be a stressful and time-consuming part of someone's life. I would like to thank my parents, Sandra and Russell, for always being there when I needed support, and my brothers, Matthew and Zachary, for always being my inspiration to achieve more. I would also like to thank my boyfriend, Justin, for keeping me grounded and reminding me that I can make it, and my friends for helping me relieve the stress when I needed it. Debbie Roulard. I would like to thank my husband, Jeff, two sons, Kyle and Tyler, and family members, Carol, Andre, Heather, and Justin, for the love and support that have given me that they have given me for the two years while I attended nursing school. They are a huge part of my success. Heather Salas. I would like to thank my parents and my wonderful husband, David. I wouldn't have made it through this without all your patience and help. And a special thank you to my grandmother, Barbara. You inspired me to pursue nursing in the first place. I hope I can be half the nurse you are. Dana Santapaolo. I would like to thank my family and friends, especially mom, Graham, best friend Lindsay, for being my biggest supporters. My instructors, especially Terry, Nancy, and Nancy. You guys define what passionate and dedicated nursing instructors are. Jeff, for being a supportive and patient boyfriend. It's been a long road and couldn't imagine a better person to have by my side. I love you and to my classmates for being so awesome and welcoming. We did it, guys. The next graduates will be pinned by Assistant Professor Mary Ann Perez Brescia. Amanda Santiago. <laughs> to my Santiago Benitez Busanet family, no words can express how grateful I am for how patient, loving, and supportive you have been. You inspire me every day to be the best person I can be, and without you, none of this would be possible. Thank you for everything you've done for me and still do every day. I love you. Alicia Shirley. I would like to thank my mom, family, Lee, Emily, and Joe for all of their support for these past two years. I want to thank Caitlin and Robert. Words cannot even describe how thankful I was to meet them. And finally, I would like to thank my instructors and the rest of my classmates for helping me get through this amazing journey. Lori Stenbeck. I would like to thank my parents for their unending support and motivation. I would like to thank my fiance, Kevin, for being the rock in my life, someone I can always count on and who has supported me, has supported every one of my decisions. I also want to thank my son Kyle for making every day better. Mommy loves you. To the rest of my friends and family, thank you and I love you. Collect Studley. My pinning today is in honor of my little sister Carrie. Because of her, I made the decision to get my nursing degree. I would like to thank my husband, Rob, for supporting me during these last four and a half years, and also to him and my children, Morgan and Brooke, for being my cheerleaders. I want to also thank my mom and dad and my older sister, Danielle, for being here today to share this accomplishment. Gresha Siriel. To my babies, Danielle and Michael, you two inspire me every day to do better, and it was because of you that Mommy has managed to accomplish such an amazing thing. I love you both. I want to thank my family and friends, and a special thanks to my angel, Judy Albright, for all of her support. You hold a special place in my heart. Thank you, Amanda Santiago, for always being there for me when I needed you most. You have witnessed all my hardships, and were always there with the right words to say, and for that I am the next graduates will be pinned by Assistant Professor Cindy Arpin. Maddie.
Tarleton. Thanks to my family and friends and the amazing Three Rivers Nursing Department. Oh. <laughs> Karen Tanucci. I would like to thank my family, specifically my husband, son, and parents for their support and believing in, my, in me through my three-year journey following my dreams of becoming an RN. Lindsay Trakis, I would like to thank my loving husband, Josh, for your support, all my family and friends, especially Leanne and Sheila, for giving me inspiration and motivation. Emily Watford, I would like to thank my mom, dad, and sister, my grandparents, and all my friends, old and new, for helping me achieve this goal. The next graduates will be pinned by Assistant Professor Krista Prendergast. Priscilla White. Thank you to Doug, my love, and to our children, Caroline, Chanel, Ian, John, Paul, and Kristen. I could not have done it without you. Thomas White. I'd like to thank my parents, family, and friends for all their support through the last two plus years and believing in me. It's, it's done and want everyone to know I still have all my hair. <laughs> Brenda Willard. I would like to thank my family, AKA my personal cheerleaders, for your endless support and encouragement. To the nursing faculty, that has made such an impact on my life. I aspire to be a better nurse because of you. And to Jason, thank you for traveling with me on this journey. You have been my rock lover. Emily, Emily Wilson. I would like to thank my family, friends, and classmates for all the support you have given me throughout this journey, especially my parents for always believing in me and providing me with the tools I needed to succeed and to my boyfriend Larry for keeping me sane during the many stressful moments and for always being my better half. Shao Yu. I want to thank all of the instructors I have had in the nursing program. Without them, I could not stand here today. Next, I want to thank Amanda for posting lecture recordings when my cell phone didn't work, and Leslie for being my best friend. Last, I want to thank my parents and my husband for their support during these two years. I love you all. I love you. Ki Kiera Zobren. I would like to thank my mom and dad, my brother, and my wonderful husband for all the support in keeping me on the right path towards my goal of becoming a registered nurse. I would like to congratulate once again the nursing class of spring 2015.
Can I have the nurses stand, please? And I'd like to invite anybody in the audience that is also a registered nurse to stand. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. With loyalty, I will endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. You may be seated. We ask Spirit to bless and support each one of you as you begin your nursing profession. Bless your hands that do the work and your heart that has heard the call to service leading the way. Bless the path you travel and the specialty you are led to. Bless your mind, body, and spirit that serve you on this path. Bless the gifts you will gain as you continue this journey bless the gift you will become. Truly blessed is the gift of becoming. Go forth in health, wealth, peace, and harmony. We are grateful for each and every one of you. Blessed be. Okay, I want you to breathe in and blow out. Do you remember doing that in 101, under stress and coping? Okay, all right, so, but you have no stress now, right? Right, no stress now, because you have your pen, you have your degree, soon you will take your licensure test and succeed and become a registered nurse. This is a great professional accomplishment. Honor, dignity, protecting the vulnerable, service to others, safe and competent practice through lifelong learning will be words describing you. Your life is going to be very unique. Go and live all of what you've learned in the program, in your life, and at today's ceremonies. Be that unique nurse. Remember where you started your professional career, at Three Rivers Community College. On your seat, you have a duck, right? A nurse duck to swim into summer with your skills for today's changing healthcare world. And yes, as Terry reminded you, your continued education. Some of you also may remember how Judy Albright asked you to follow her in a line like ducks. She sends her greetings to you too. Know that each of us are only a text or a message or an email away. We are proud of you. Earning your associate degree and nursing pin is a great accomplishment. Thank you to all for celebrating the nursing class of May 2015. Enjoy your evening and please come to the multi-purpose room for refreshments and conversation with the class, faculty, students, family. We'll have 
some more fun. Again, please wait till the stage has gone out first and the leadership, the faculty and students as we all progress first. But before we leave, 